The Tennessee Titans head to L.A. this week for a little Sunday night football action with the L.A. Rams, a perfect matchup for the last game of the day until the news made the rounds. The king is dead, so to speak. Derrick Henry's season is over, so now the Titans have to forge ahead without him, and they start their new journey against Matthew Stafford, who just got done slapping down three bills through the air, three TDs as well, rating over 125. Stafford drops back, middle of the field, open again! It's cut. Okay, Matthew, we get it, we get it. It was all Detroit's fault. His lowest rating this year, 89. He's been 100 or better, six of eight games. His yards per attempt, over eight, and seven of his eight contests. Plenty of time, and Michelle out of the backfield with plenty of room. Cooper Cup, the best receiver in football. No one stops the guy, even though everyone's aware he's Stafford's go-to every game. You debate his ranking, his stats are at the very top though. Stafford end zone throw, touchdown Cooper Cup! Tennessee can't forget about the rest of LA's pass catchers though. Van Jefferson emerging the last two weeks as a key threat. Deep for Van Jefferson, Stafford lays it up there and Jefferson's got it! You watch the timing on this throw again, as soon as he makes that break, it's right on him and he has the opportunity to run with the football after the catch. So what are they up against with Tennessee's defense? Oh, you know, they didn't just come up with one huge interception late last week. They came up with two. How about this Tennessee defense making the big plays when they've needed it most? And while doing so held Carson Wentz to under a 70 rating, a meager 4.5 yards per attempt, this coming off a game where they dominated Patrick Mahomes. So they are building momentum. Fine time, throws, trying to force it in. Off the bounce, Tennessee has got it. The Titans only had one sack last week. However, their pass rush was plenty effective. And the one QB takedown came at the hands of Harold Landry. That's eight and a half and at least half a sack in each game save one. Put his foot in the ground, uh, nice little game and come back inside. It's wide open for Landry. He may find it difficult to get to Stafford though. Defenders rarely do. Wants to go deep, but he's got Cooper Cup midfield and he's off and running. And let's not ignore how well that line blocks for their running backs too. Dancing with another first down, still going up across the 40. Tennessee gave up 4.4 a run to Jonathan Taylor last week and have been somewhat average against the run overall. It's Taylor. Stopping the run was supposed to be the focal point for the Rams more than the Titans, but now the question is, who takes over for Henry and how often do they turn to him? The next man up is Jeremy McNichols, who has seven carries for the whole year, third most on the team behind Henry and Tannehill. McNichols, around the side, up the sideline. Or it could be AP. Titans signed Adrian Peterson to their practice squad. At the moment I'm reading this, no way to know when we could see him suit up though. Okay, so what do we got with the Rams run defense? Average-ish, didn't face many runs against Houston, but if a team can run on them, it's better than trying to throw on them. Which nice run here by Burkhead. What LA does well defensively, get home against quarterbacks. And it's the relentlessness of the pass rush as well. Interesting though, they're not elite when it comes to pressure and QB hits, so come on on down Von Miller, the Rams now sporting three guys who can heat things up. Von Miller was in there before Russ ever had a chance. Donald just kind of tossed him around like a rag doll. And there's another sack. Mills goes down and there's Leonard Floyd again. That group could cause a whole lot of havoc against the Titans because Ryan Tannehill ends up on his back a lot three more times last week, and they've allowed one of the highest sack totals this season. The pocket just collapses on Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill overcame two interceptions last week, throwing three TDs along with 265 yards. Excellent play design, a good throw by Tannehill again, the ball location. He didn't have Julio to work with, so he just zeroed in on A.J. Brown. That worked, but you know who he's going to have on him this week because of it. Breaking free! AJ is the WR1, so that means he gets Jalen Ramsey all night long, probably. He's working against Anthony O'Clair, a big tight end, keeps his outside leverage and actually able to knock that ball away from Danny Amendola. LA's pass defense, though, is coming off a weird game. They were up 38 to zero, and then the game ends with Davis Mills hanging over 300 yards and a plus 100 rating on them. Brandon Cooks, and that's a Texans touchdown! Most of their numbers against QBs are good, though, so the Titans really could use Jones if he's healthy enough. Gonna have to throw, and it's intercepted! 
Interception! Such a bummer about Henry just means Tannehill has to rise up. No, that's an Atlanta thing. He has to tighten up and take over the throne. For when the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. Wow, Game of Thrones coming through perfectly in this instance. But it isn't going to be easy. They're in a foreign land against a defense that's scarier than White Walkers. Let's see what you've got for the scores. We'll show you what we've got.